Hey everyone, this is Pastor Zaytorius and this is your weekly SMS. Last week we discussed about being a true follower, a disciple of Jesus Christ, and we talked about that it, needs a, it takes a relationship to uh, be a true follower. This week I want to discuss about what it means to be in that relationship. How do, how do you start it out? What does it all mean? First of all, we need to understand that to be in a relationship, um, we need to understand where mankind is in, regard, in relation to God. We don't come out of the womb followers of and disciples of Jesus Christ. As a matter of fact, we're at odds right out of the womb. The Bible in Romans chapter 3 verse 23 says, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that sin separates us from God. And if that's not bad enough, it gets worse. In Romans 6 23, the Bible says, the wages of sin is death. So once we understand that um, we are all sinners, sin separates us from God, and then that sin is punishable by death, we need to come to a point where the Holy Spirit convicts us and then we repent, which is just a heartfelt sorrow for offending God. Um, then, in the, the Bible says in Romans 10, chapters 9 to 10, or verse 9 to 10, it says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God rose him from the dead, you shall be saved. And that's often what we see in altar calls or at churches. It's called the sinner's prayer. And that's when we make that public confession um, that we're accepting Jesus into our lives and we want him to rule. But that's just the beginning of the relationship. Uh, a lot of oftentimes we just leave it right there. But it's continual. In John 3.16, the Bible says, <clears throat> John 3.16, the Bible says, um, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And I just wanna focus in on that word believes. Actually in the Greek, the original believes is pistuo. And that literally means to entrust one's spiritual well-being. Um, and it's a, it's a uh, present tense verb. So to put that all together, what, the, what does that mean? What John 3.16 is trying to convey is, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever continually entrusts their well-being, their spiritual well-being with Jesus Christ shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That continual thing is, is the key because that's the relationship part. Um, still not convinced. Let's go to John 15, chapter, uh, verse one to 12. I'm gonna read out of the New English translation. Uh, Jesus says, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He takes away every branch that does not bear fruit in me. He prunes every branch that bears fruit so that it will bear more fruit. You are clean already because of the words that I've spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. Just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it remains in the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit because apart from me, you can accomplish nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is thrown out like a branch and dries up and such branches are gathered up and thrown into the fire and are burned up. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you want and it will be done for you. My father is honored by this, that you bear much fruit and show that you are my disciples. Just as the father has loved me, I have also loved you. Remain in my love. If you obey my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you these things so that, you, that my joy may be in you, your joy may be complete. My commandment is this, to love one another just as I have loved you. And so this is a scenario where Jesus describes himself as the vine and we are the branches. Uh, just imagine a tree and a branch attached to a tree. The branch gets all its nourishment, all its, all its food, all its, uh, everything it needs to sustain itself directly from the tree. And naturally, fruit come out of that. And I wanna take a second and, and so that you can examine yourself. What type of fruit are you producing? Are you the type that uh, wherever you go, you're loving, you're encouraging, you're, you're a peacemaker, peacekeeper? Or are you like Calamity Jane? where a disaster follows you wherever you go. Uh, destruction, uh, grief, and anguish are, 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 are 
shadows to you. The fruit that Jesus is talking about, when you are attached to him and you remain in him, if you want to look at your life, test the relationship, you're going to have positive spiritual fruits in your life. Now, Jesus, he says, if you want to remain in, he, in that verse, he actually tells you how to remain in him. You know what he says? He says, obey me. Well, how do you, how do you obey who you don't know? How do you obey the uh, rules, regulations, statutes that you know have no idea about? That's when you read your Bible. When you read your Bible, you learn what he expects from us, what the Lord expects from us, and you let that guide your life. You put his rules, his ways, his teachings, his life is what we want to mimic. We put those over our own. And then he goes further, just in case you didn't understand the obey thing, he says, uh, let me summarize. You want to remain, you want to remain in me, you, you obey my commandments, I'll give you a command that you need to obey. Love one another. Are you loving? one another another thing we have to do to maintain that relationship is a simple conversation uh, many of you out there have husbands and wives let me ask you this how long would that husband or wife stay with you if you only talk to them on Sunday or a minute a day we have to the Lord wants those conversations with us just through prayer just simple talking to them he wants to bear our burdens he wants to be included in the conversation and I want to challenge everyone today, make, make a commitment to talk to the Lord. And I guarantee you, he'll talk back to you. I'm Pastor Satorius, and that has been your weekly SMS.